In this webinar, I have examined three key global economic trends happening in the US, Europe and Asia in the past one week or so and assessed if the world is moving into another recession. Briefly speaking, I do not see substantial evidence of the global economy moving into complete recession immediately, at least at this point of time. All will depend on the speed and success of the European fiscal management. Here is what I have to say. Number one, the dollar has surged against an index of currencies, euro in particular. Ironically, the political stalemate catching the Congressional Super Committee has strengthened the US dollar. The Standard & Poor has already downgraded the credit rating of the US debt. Yet the US dollar continues to wear the crown as the safe haven in case of uncertainty along with the Japanese yen to a less degree. In my opinion, the current political stalemate does not augur well for fragile economic fundamentals from lurking unemployment rate failing to improve radically to a highly stagnant housing market which may take few years to recover. Number two, the European fiscal debt crisis underpinned by political dissensions is much more complicated issue both in terms of its political overtones and economic contours. While there may be short term solutions on the anvil, yet the current situation cannot promise a sustainable path. Any credible solution has to be structured on a solid political edifice. This does not augur well given wide political dissensions at the national as well as European Economic Union level. Understandably, the credit spreads between the German bonds ranked as most stable in Europe and other European countries prone to debt crisis have escalated. As stated in my previous webinars, the European decision makers have to move swiftly. Failing to reach some concrete steps would most probably push Europe into recession. Number three, the Asian economies, notably Japan, China and India are also being impacted by the global events, in particular the European debt crisis. In China, inflation is not a huge issue anymore, which might leave space for quantitative easing. The probability of easing has increased given some cooling in the profits of industrial entities in China. If European issue is not resolved on an urgent basis, this will have a marked impact on further cooling of the Chinese economy and therefore the commodity currencies of Canada and Australia. The Shanghai Composite Index has already receded some 15% this year, indicating cooling of the Chinese economy. China has already indicated possibility of its direct support to Europe through government loaning as well as indirect support through investments of the Chinese sovereign funds in Europe. There is some evidence that the Chinese growth has already cooled down on account of some credit crunch faced by small businesses in the rural areas and broad shrinkage in the housing, European exports and manufacturing sectors in China. Brazil on the other hand stays vibrant with control of the unemployment rate. In nutshell, the emerging economies have a degree of resilience at this stage toward any sudden or unexpected downturn in the global economy, yet we must not forget that any protracted European crisis can have substantial impact on slowing of the emerging economies too.